Once there was a little boy. His name was Wyatt. Wyatt was not like other little boys, he liked going on adventures, and he didn't really fit in. One day he was walking along the forest when he saw an old treasure chest no bigger than a shoe box, half buried in the soil, but the lock was broken. He started walking towards it to take a closer look. Well, no booby traps here, he said. When he opened the chest, he found a small machine that seemed to be controlled by a little crystal that was slightly rose-tinted. He picked it up and studied it for a moment, before noticing a small scrap of paper he carefully picked it out of the inside of the machine. In small handwriting it read, if you have a past that you don't want to remember, turn the little knob that says forget. He turned the little knob, and surprisingly the machine sparked and then, with a whirring sound it turned on. The machine made flashes of bright yellow light, and it also made weird buzzing sounds. While he breathed. He picked up the machine which was still buzzing and flashing a bit. Suddenly, he blacked out and fell backwards, luckily the soil was there so it wasn't too hard of a landing. Ten minutes later, he came to. His eyes fluttered open, his breathing was slow and steady. He sat up. Where was he? It seemed like a leafy, green, forest. He saw a house in the distance, but it didn't look familiar. In fact, nothing looked familiar. He slowly stood up, before noticing a machine that was half in a mossy treasure chest. The machine was eerily buzzing and flashing. He carefully pried the chest out of the ground, and then he put the machine gently in the chest. He started to walk towards the house in the distance, so that he could ask to stay there overnight. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, and the insects were softly buzzing. He hadn't eaten since lunch, so he was really hungry. He made it to the back door of the house and climbed onto the back porch, he knocked softly on the door, before hearing people scurrying around inside. The door swung open and a middle-aged woman stood in the doorway holding a baby girl. Wyatt, come inside I told you the door would be unlocked and you didn't need to knock. She said. Hi, I was wondering if you would let me stay here overnight until I can find my own house. He said. Stop telling jokes, this is your house and you know it. She said. Go to your room and wash up for dinner. She said. He slowly started walking towards the stairs, and he was going to have to figure out which room was his, and which were his siblings that seemed to be very different ages. Once he had gotten washed up and figured out which room was his, he headed down to dinner already wearing his pajamas. After dinner he headed straight up to get ready for bed. He was really tired, and he didn't want to be rude to his family, especially because it seemed like he couldn't remember that they were his family. The next day he woke up bright and early, hoping that he could figure out what that weird machine was. He made his bed and got ready, putting on his shirt that said, I equals adventure. Once he was dressed he hurried downstairs to eat a breakfast of eggs, sausage, and waffles. Along with a glass of milk. Once he had eaten breakfast and packed his bag he scurried out through the back door. He walked to the spot where he had found the machine. He plopped down onto the soft grass. Suddenly he saw a glowing in the distance. He stood up to get a closer look. When he was close enough to the glowing spot of light, he could see a person. It was a boy, no more than fifteen years older than Wyatt. Come sit, said the boy, gesturing to Wyatt. Wyatt walked closer to the boy. Why me, said Wyatt. You'll see, said the boy. Wyatt, I am your twenty-year-old self, and I have come to tell you that you must turn that machine off. It makes you forget your past, and I have come from the future to tell you that if you leave it on you'll push away everyone that you love and care about, and it doesn't get better, it just keeps getting worse. You can't just forget about your past, you can create a different future, but to push your past out of your memory is not how you fix it. Wyatt, I know it will be hard. I know that you don't want to remember your past, but I am warning you, if the machine doesn't get shut down you will have a future of destruction, and you will be alone in this world, to die knowing that you could have fixed it. So please, shut the machine off. The seven-year-old Wyatt sat there crying. He didn't want to remember his past, but he also didn't want to have such a bad future that it would be worse than his past. Okay, he said through sobs. I'll shut it off. 
he took the machine out of his bag and carefully picked it up. It was buzzing furiously, and he decided that it probably could sense if it was about to be shut off for another couple years before it could haunt someone again with its buzzing and flashing. Goodbye, he said through tears. And then he turned the knob. His future self vanished, all became still, except for the thud of him hitting the ground from blacking out. Twenty minutes later he came to. Again, he sat up rubbing his eyes. He stood up heading back to the house that was now very familiar, he looked around, and sure enough, there was the chest, half of it laying in the soil, the other half innocently sticking out of the ground. He started home again wondering what part of him actually wanted to forget his past. That night he went to sleep with a red bump on his head reminding him of the two times when he blacked out. That reminder was helpful, and it helped him remember to be thankful for the life that he had. The End